Okay, well, uh, what happened was apparently um, my SSD ran out of room. So, the part this last the last video cuts out at is only a couple of minutes before that. Basically, uh, General Cross just talks shit and pretty much says, Okay, I'm going to kick your ass and drop you down to this kill pit here. At least you're going to get to see the damn ending. For a minute there, I was just completely, you know, devastated. Because I was like, fuck, all this work and all this time, and now, you know, it's an utter failure. At least this will be rather quick, so... Thank God for auto save. And we're gonna need to build some fucking turret drones. Man, that still irritates the fuck out of me. No warning. I mean, I didn't. I wasn't told anything about running low on space or anything like that. I thought I had plenty of space, like around 20 gigs or so left on the SSD, which you know should be plenty for recording. And since I don't use the SSD for, uh, uh, you know, most software, it's used only for a couple of very specific software programs that could really benefit from it. No games, just, you know, things I need for work or, you know, things of that nature. But, I suspect there may have been a Windows update or something like that downloaded, and I'm going to look into that for the moment. Next time I know better, um, a goddamn good sure to uh, check up on the space from that, or direct recording over to another hard drive. The reason why I was using the SSD is because it's, of course, fast, so you don't um, have as much risk of uh, having, you know, jittery, jinky video or shit like that. I mean, with the editing tools I have, that's already a risk anyway, but, you know. You can just die, 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 die. So, Yeah, uh, okay, now this is going to really piss me off. Today just, uh, yeah. Thank you. Positive thought. Positive thought. Uh, okay, yeah, I'm... Not very fucking happy right now. Kill okay, it, dickhead. Alright. No, the goddamn recording got lost, you cocksucker. Go for broke, I'm not going to be using any of this shit anyway. It's... Now, this game does not do like Fallout um, New Vegas does or any games like that. Um, it's much like Skyrim or Fallout 3 or Oblivion or whatever. Once you beat the game, you can still go back out to the game world and do stuff. So... Previously, I used the assault rifle to finish this kid head off.
every time. There's a joke there, I'm not gonna make it right now. Okay, we are absolutely going to be skipping all this shit here. As I said earlier, when the previous attempt at recording, this is a little comic that, you know, storyboards the various things that occur here. At the very beginning when, you know... Okay, give me... Give me the goddamn F key already, come on. There we go. See? Told you he would be fine. A little nanotrite reprogramming cocktail was all that was needed. I say you got lucky. But if I can save Walker from doom, then perhaps someone can save Cross from doom too. You need me still. Let's go! Ah, you're back. Ranger strong and good to go. You know, that dagger worked like a charm. No more cross clones to worry about. And that we know of. Shame we almost lost you in the process. Vasir gambled with your life. The serum you used to kill Cross could have been the death of you, too. But he was able to reverse the process once Lily brought you in. And lucky for him. Lily was about to blow his precious brains out there and then. When you come to, uh, there's gonna be plenty of work for the Violin Ranger yet. But for now, you just rest your bones. Walker, don't try to talk. I'll be here for you. When you're ready, we got plenty of work to do, Ranger. Oh, hey, you are a stepsister. Yes, I'm bad. Wouldn't want to do anything in here because you know this is in Lucent's office. Quick, well, wouldn't you want me to take my time? Oh, 
but you know, hell, hell, who knows? Maybe she likes to watch. Oh, and that dude right there—that's from uh, Rage One. Um, I never have looked at these. Oh, there's a uh, one of the vehicles from Rage One there. That guy right there is a merchant. That I think is her dad. I'm not too sure on that one, but whatever. Oh, flashy. Don't need it, but whatever. When you're ready, Walker. There's still a lot of work out there for a ranger and an ace mechanic. Can't believe you put a gun to Kvasir's head. Well, I can't believe that they let that psycho roam free out there. He could single-handedly destroy us all. Create some super virus, a new strand of mutant, some damn big bomb, poison. He's shifty, I know. We got more immediate concerns, huh? There's gonna be chaos in the aftermath of the battles. Bandit groups are gonna surface. Remains of the Authority War Machine are out there, roaming blindly. Back to business, then. You impressed us all, Walker. The Authority's back is broken. We can finally rebuild. But I guess you have your plate full already. I bet there's a lot of work for the last of the Rangers. There's always another threat growing. Ain't that the truth? With Cross gone and Clegg Clayton out of the picture, someone else is just gonna rise to the occasion and start stirring shit again. They need me out there. I know. Good luck, Ranger Walker. All right, with that, we're gonna call an end to this. Hopefully it recorded this fucking time. Thank God for autosaves, because, man, I was looking at being completely and totally fucked. Um, after this gets done, I'm gonna go ahead and upload both videos, because, you know... The first one shows almost all of the entirety of the uh, thing there. It just stops about, well, one minor boss fight before you get to cross because you have to fight another one of those giant things with the glowy pieces coming out of their back. You know, you've seen them a couple of times in this. And then you pop right over to cross. There's no real um, in-between from there. I mean, there's a short corridor, that's it. Then you meet him, he talks shit, drops down into the kill pit, and then you and him go at it. And you shoot all the glowy spots until... Of course, as you can see, until he finally dies, pretty much. All right, with that, I will see you guys next time, hopefully with Beavis and Butthead Virtual Stupidity, but it depends on how YouTube actually wants to act, if they want to, like, copyright strike it because of any music or anything like that in there, then I will have to abort that particular playthrough. Um, I do have a follow-up playthrough planned um, with the Thief series of games, or at least the first three of those, because I don't plan on doing Thief 4. I own it. And frankly, there were so many missteps made in making that game that I'm, you know, scratching my head as to how the fuck they actually thought that they, that, that game was a good idea. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's a, I think it's Unreal 3 or 4 engine, something like that. So it looks really good, but the controls are shitty. Um, the overall storyline is just pretty fucking shitty, and it's full of quick time events, and frankly... In a game like Thief, where you have to kind of plan out what you're going to do, and you've got various ways to approach things, um, quick time events are just complete and utter bullshit. They work in games like the Resident Evil games, but not so much in games like Thief. Alright, with that guys, I will catch you next time.